Gunner is a class that fights up close with ranged weapons, specializing in twin machine guns. In today's video, we're going to discuss a powerful build for gunner mains. Let's jump right into it. For starters, let's talk about your class tree. At the time of this recording, we have a maximum of 40 skill points to spend. Here's how we spend them. First, grab Chain Trigger, which is Gunner's primary mechanic. Firing a charged photon art allows you to build up a chain that increases with every hit you land on your enemies. Using a second charged photon art triggers a powerful finishing move called a Finisher Boost. Upgrade this with Chain Trigger Quick Reload, which reduces the cooldown time of Chain Trigger depending on how big of a chain you have when you Trigger Boost. Chain Boost and Chain Boost Advance grants a 45 second buff after activating a Chain Finisher that increases the invulnerability window your weapon action gives you, as well as increasing your attack speed based on how high your chain was built up. And lastly, Chain Trigger Count Retain, which allows you to start your next chain at a higher value if your previous chain did not end with a finisher boost. Max out Attack PP Recovery, which increases the amount of PP you regain from attacking enemies with your normal attack. Two points into Overwhelm, which increases PP recovery when attacking non-boss enemies. Max out Dodge PP Gain, which restores PP when you successfully dodge an attack. Slow Landing Attack, which makes you fall more slowly when attacking in the air. Slow Landing Charge, which makes you fall more slowly when charging a Photon Art in the air. Stylish Onslaught, which changes your weapon action into a shoulder check when you don't input a direction. Rising Drive, which allows you to rise higher in the air if you attack at the right moment after using your weapon action. Max Out TMG Alternate Arts PP Preservation, which reduces the PP cost of Photon Arts when you chain different arts together. Finally, Stylish Roll Arts, which allows you to use a special high potency attack if you activate a photon art while dodging with your weapon action. Upgrade this with Stylish Roll Strike Back, which powers up the damage and cost of your next photon art after a successful dodge with your weapon action. Stylish Roll Counter Bullet, which unleashes a counter attack automatically when you dodge an attack with your weapon action. And Strike Back Advanced which grants an invulnerability period when you use a photon art after dodging an attack with your weapon action. Your subclass of choice is Force. Be sure to spend all your skill points in the Force skill tree, but only one skill matters here. Eradication PP Gain, which restores PP when an enemy is defeated near you. This ensures when you fight large groups of enemies, you will have near constant PP regen. Whether fighting groups of enemies or bosses, our primary goal is to always be using Chain Trigger. Raising a Chain Trigger to 100 and activating a Finish Boost. If you trigger a boost with a Chain of 100, the cooldown time of Chain Trigger is a mere 2 seconds. This allows you to keep a Chain Boost up pretty much indefinitely in combat. When fighting a group of enemies, our main tool is the Photon Art Aimless Rain, which fires off a hail of bullets in all directions. This is best used when surrounded by enemies. When fighting bosses, we'll use a combination of Bullet Rave and Point Blank. Bullet Rave fires a volley of shots at a single target before firing a large blast, while Point Blank is a close range blast. Use Bullet Rave to start a Chain Trigger, then close the distance and use Point Blank to trigger a Finish Boost. Point Blank is also a great art to damage bosses who have been down or broken. At the time of this recording, the gear you should be shooting for are Kaisar Machine Guns and three Sestato Armor Belta units. The Kaisar Machine Guns can be crafted. The units can be found in a specific red box, or dropped from Kavaris Battle Dia Purple. 
The augments you want for all of this gear are Mastery 4, which must be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange, Crocus Soul 3, which drops from Crocodilus, Dark Falls Interception Rank 2, and can be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange. Gigas Precision 3, which drops from Gigantix, and can be exchanged for in the Augment Capsule Exchange. Super Precision, which drops from Cannonball Rumble, and Decold Precision, which comes pre-installed on Redbox units, and can be found in the Kavaris Exchange Shop. That's all for this build. If this video helped you, please like the video and subscribe to me for more PSO2 content. This is Shadgun, signing off.